Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. My name is Spartan Elite 43, and tonight we are going to be doing something that nobody else has ever done, to my knowledge. And that is, we are going to be starting a new campaign as Spain. Uh, the old campaign kept having issues with the ships being deleted, and it just it had all kinds of problems. But I came up with an idea, and it took me a long time to get this, this idea fleshed out to where it actually seems to be working. And then the game keeps updating, and I have to keep updating everything and, and doing everything over again. <laughs> so it's, it's taken a bit, but I think I, I, think I finally got it to, to ready to go. I did some testing um, last night, and everything seemed to be working. That was before the update, and then it updated today, so testing could be completely out off the wall but uh, we're gonna get right into it i do have a little bit of a backstory for you guys welcome to the stream let's get straight into the backstory the conquistadors of time in the not so distant future amidst the ever shifting tides of geopolitical tension the once mighty spanish empire found itself at a crossroads Faced with the harsh realities of a world dominated by technological superiority and strategic prowess, Spain sought a means to rewrite its destiny. At the forefront of their ambitions stood a daring experiment. Born of desperation and fueled by unyielding determination, the Conquistadors of Time Initiative. Within the clandestine halls of a classified research facility, a breakthrough emerged. The elusive secret of temporal manipulation. As whispers of this unprecedented feat echoed through the annals of history, the Spanish government seized upon the opportunity with unwavering resolve. With resources pulled and minds united, they embarked on a venture that would redefine the very fabric of existence. In the wake of defeat, amidst the ashes of a nation's pride, the decision to turn back the hands of time crystallized. It was in the crucible of adversity, in the aftermath of the Spanish-American War, that Spain found itself at its nadir. Written off as a dying empire, haunted by the specter of decline, the choice to journey back to 1890 was more than a strategic gambit. It was a reckoning with the ghosts of the past. In the remote reaches of the Pacific Islands, nestled amongst, amidst the azure expanse of the ocean, a secret Spanish base stood as the staging ground for the, auda the audacious endeavor. Here, hidden from the prying eyes and shielded by the veil of obscurity, the fleet of the conquistadors of time awaited its moment to rewrite history. Anchored by the formidable presence of the battleship Conquistador, a behemoth of steel and innovation, flanked by the re resolute guardianship of the heavy cruisers Barcelona and Madrid, the fleet prepared to embark on its odyssey. As the embers of anticipation ignited into fervent blaze, two light cruisers, the Matador and the El Toro, danced on the cusp of anticipation, their sleek frames poised for the unfolding spectacle. And in the shadowy waters of that fateful harbor stood the silent sentinels. The destroyers Casadora and Estrella awaited their call to arms. With the guidance of destiny and the weight of history upon their shoulders, the conquistadors of time set forth on their odyssey. Through the veils of temporal distortion, they hurled backward, a beacon of modernity against the tapestry of antiquity. But theirs was not a quest solely of conquest. It was a symphony of innovation, a clarion call to reshape the annals of time. For within the conquest of their laws or their halls lay not only the tools of war, but the blueprints of progress, a gift to the past that would echo through the corridors of eternity. As the chronicles of their journey unfold, the conquistadors of time shall carve their legacy upon the annals of history. Through triumph and tribulation, they shall navigate the currents of fate, guided by the indomitable spirit of a nation reborn. For Spain, the dawn of a new age beckons, a tapestry of conquest and innovation woven by the hands of those who dare defy the bounds of time itself.
All right, folks. Uh, this might come as a uh, surprise to you, but we're going to be doing a time traveling playthrough. Something nobody's ever done. So uh, I, I did I did a little bit of uh, research and a little bit of writing, and, and mostly I went back and I had to uh, edit the game save to allow us to make something like this happen. But we have taken a single fleet back in time, and... We have given the Spanish all of the blueprints necessary to outfit their, their factories and, and, and build modern tech in 1890 in the campaign. So, how can we do with a single fleet back in 1890? Honestly, I feel like this is going to go really, really well. <laughs> I wonder why. Uh, so... Right off the bat, we've got to come up with a plan, right? Our plan for world domination starts now. And there is no better place than immediately making the U.S. Gah! The, the, the thing just d destroyed my eardrums. Again, I always forget. Uh, but there is no better place to start this campaign than starting by conquering the United States. The ones that, that embarrassed the Spanish Navy and left us where we currently are during the Spanish-American War. So they will be the first to feel the wrath of the conquistadors of time. So let's get this party started. Jaybird, Megan, Cisco, Ender, Andrew, MV, El, Pop or El Pepe, how's it going? Corey, Kevin, Torch, Jacobs, appreciate you guys all dropping in. Uh, we just got started, Jacobs, literally just getting started. So here... There's a few caveats to this. One of them is that, obviously, I'm going to be losing a lot of money early on. And that's why I gave myself basically unlimited money. So we don't have to worry about losing a crap ton of money uh, because we have a modern fleet in antique times. So uh, that is one of the caveats. Money, for once, will not be any issue to this campaign. But I don't think that's what the campaign's all about anyway. Uh, we've already shown that we can play legendary difficulty and manage our funds and, and grow over time. We've shown that, right? This one is going to be more of the premise. And uh, currently, I am refitting the one battleship we have. When I loaded in, uh, we had an issue with the uh, blueprint where it it uh, said that one of the guns wouldn't turn. So I had to refit it. Uh, but we have, we have fixed that from here. Uh, the Conquistador blueprint can be deleted. The Conquistador Mark II blueprint is the one that's currently being used. And then I cloned this for this uh for a new series so if we go to build any of these going forward we can just build this and we don't have to worry about refitting them uh at any point other than that we have a single battleship two heavy cruisers two light cruisers two destroyers that is our fleet that's it it's all we got to start with and we've got to try to conquer the united states to start so first things first let's get into our uh, politics and punch the united states right in the kisser that's our goal. Increase tension immediately. We already start at almost at war with the United States because, you know, the Spanish-American War has just ended. Uh, we lost. So uh, we're not happy about it. They're not happy with us. So poking them as, as quickly as possible, getting this war started as soon as possible is going to be huge for us. Again, we don't have to worry about money for the first time. Uh, our research-wise, we don't have to worry about anything here. Everything that we will be researching will be like future tech. So there's nothing that we have to worry about here. So it's just going to be coming down to us. How quickly can we conquer the world? That is the whole purpose of this entire thing. Can we even conquer the world? I'm not going to be editing the game save file any further than we are doing right, like, to start this. So it is going to be about capturing as much as possible. That is our goal. So let's get this party started, shall we? Now, right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get into uh, ship design. And I'm going to start building a new fleet. Uh, I will build two battleships. I will build two heavy cruisers. I will build two light cruisers. I will build two destroyers. This will give us uh, three fleets total that can help us with uh, conquering territory, right? So we're going to put all of these guys. Let's see, one... Oh, wait, that's not going to work. Let's see, it'd be the control key. One, two, three, four. You guys can... Ah, oh, yes. I forgot. 
So you're going to be at 71,000 tons, and Barcelona is the only one that has the ability, and it's currently over its tonnage. So we will have to move that fleet out of Barcelona before we can actually put these guys to being built. But that's fine. We, we'll wait. We can wait. Um, but for now, our goal is to simply piss off the Americans as quickly as possible. And one of the ways we're going to do that will be to uh, finish refitting these guys. We're currently over our fleet cap. Uh, that doesn't help either. Let's go ahead and put... these guys on hold for now that should get us under the fleet cap and allow us to do uh, what we got to do all right and that gives us three months for the conquistador to finish its thing and everybody else should be going relatively normal csi how's it going welcome all right let's get this party started ice time how's it going And we can probably bring back Solace at some point, but uh, to start with, I, I thought we would just have one single fleet go back in time, and we got to build up from there. So let's get this party started. Once we get the uh, Conquistador refitted, we will take the fleet and set it off the coast of the United States to piss them off even further. We get all the uh, passages opening up. We did officially irritate the, the uh, Americans, so that's good news. All right. So let's keep that going. Um, I mean, we could actually, instead of doing that, let's, let's take this one, this one, and this one, and uh, resume those, because we should have enough tonnage to do that. It's, the, it's just the battleship that's going to have to hold for now. Everything else can go. All right, keep it going. Uh, politics, we can't piss off the Americans any further at the moment, so we got to wait. Uh, it's currently at minus 80. We got to get that to minus 99 as quickly as possible. So next, what up, Per Michael? How's it going? Yep, we're a time-traveling Spanish empire this time. I thought it'd be something different. I've never seen anybody, and it was, all right, let's not get it twisted. To, to make this possible, to make this, this playthrough possible, I had to go through and get a, a f uh, Spanish fleet all the way to the, as much future tech as possible. And I had to do it one month at a time so that I could eventually unlock all of the techs that I, want, that I wanted for this playthrough. Then I had to go through and copy the entire like thing, which was like 128 pages of text. <laughs> just put that in perspective to get all the text uh that i wanted for this playthrough it was about 120 i think it's 126 or 128 pages of text and then i had to copy that from the text file into the new game save and it worked flawlessly so if my first ever attempt at like doing something like this it seems to be working just fine what up chill uh chill mama how's it going And as, like I said, as far as I know, I am the only one that has been able to, to do anything like this that I know of. Like, there's a lot of people that do this, but I am the only one currently that uh, I have seen even come up with this idea in the campaign. We've done like uh, scenarios and stuff in the past where we've taken like modern ships up against like old school ships. But like in the campaign itself, it's never been done. So first time. Let's go. All right, so we still are, we're actually behind here. This was only supposed to take three months. I don't know why it's still showing two months, but we'll hold. Pulled the Warspite Spite out of a Warship's Legends uh, Spring Crate. Nice. War Spite's a great ship, man. Great ship. Oh, we forgot to poke the U.S. Increase tension. Now, one thing that we will not be doing at all in this playthrough is using any allies at all. We don't want to give our tech to anybody else, right? Like, that is our, our whole goal. 
Our goal should be not anybody else in the entire world gets their hands. So we will not be building ships for anybody. We will not be uh, utilizing any sort of like alliances or anything like that. This is a this is a conquest. We are going to try to take over the world as quickly as humanly possible. That is that is the that is the goal. All right. So um, yeah, we're at minus eighty. They ignored us this time. But as soon as we can get our freaking fleet, which I think we're good, we can now take these guys out of Barcelona. And then sail them across the world over here to the, the Gulf. If we put them in the Gulf, we should start to irritate the United States. So let's take them out of here. Put them over there. And we will set them to invade. All right. So they should get there next month, no problem. Um, from a politics standpoint, we can't poke them. Um, from the finances we should be able to go ahead and open up our uh battleship that this guy should be able to now unsuspend him and that gives us plenty there so we're good beautiful and now we should be able to put those guys all at the same port uh we're gonna put them one is actually going to be at the philippines if we can yeah, so we can do this. Uh, this is actually all Spain. Never mind. So Barcelona, I guess. We'll just put them all at Barcelona for now. That's fine. That's fine. All right, and we just keep it going. Like I said, it shouldn't only take like one month for these guys to get across the uh, the Atlantic and get over here. And then once that happens, we should start to build up a little bit of dis distaste in the United States for us parking our ships off their border. And sure enough, the uh, imp the Japanese are starting to poke us for some reason. <laughs> I don't think the world is ready for what's coming. Like, I, I don't think the world is ready. They might think they're ready, but they are definitely not ready. Okay, so the United States currently has 31 ships, and they're all smaller vessels. 13 heavy cruisers, 18 light cruisers. So uh, good luck fighting my fleet with that. I think that'll be absolutely devastating when it happens. All right, so we can't increase tension further, but you can see we are very close to... Uh, right there like we're at minus 92 plus with our fleet parked here we should start to uh, deteriorate the relationship further so we'll just keep on a rolling keith how's it going uh jay how's it going jacob appreciate you guys all dropping in don't forget if you guys enjoy punch that like button for me this will be a very interesting playthrough we're gonna try to do as quickly as possible like that is our goal so I don't know how quickly we're going to be able to take over the U.S. and then be able to go from there. But the reason we want to go for the U.S. first is because the U.S. has the most potential in terms of, like, their factories and all of that, their ports. So we want to get that under our control as quickly as humanly possible. If we can do that, it just snowballs from there, right? So our goal will be U.S. first and then move into the Pacific. And just spread from there. All right. So politics. United States. Increased tension. We are right on the cusp of war. So I would assume by next month we will be at war with the United States. We don't need to do anything there. Don't have to worry about that. All right. Next turn. What up, Loops? Uh, Russia does have a lot of resources. Um and it, it'll, it'll come down to who's closest to being ready to go to war next, right? Because we want to go th from one to the next as quickly as humanly possible. I do want to try to avoid going to war with multiple countries at one time because they will help each other out. And I don't want that. I don't want anybody forming an alliance against us because then it becomes harder to capture their territory. Once we grab the U.S., like this is going to snowball, I think, pretty quickly. The U.S. will be our biggest one. And we're officially at war. Let's go. The first war is underway. And everybody's upset with us. Shocker. All right. So we are in a, a naval, or we are ready to do a naval invasion. So we should be able to go in here and go naval invade the Gulf Coast. So whether it's Tampa or uh, Miami or Pensacola, one of these three ports will be our naval invasion. So let's go. Next turn. All right, it's going to be Miami. 
we're invading Miami. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, that, that makes the most sense because you'd think we would be invading from Cuba. So if we're invading from Cuba, Miami makes the most sense, right? It's closest. Now, there's a couple of things that we're going to have to take advantage of in this playthrough, and that is going to be, especially early on, because we're not going to have the tonnage to take a lot of territory quickly. So what will happen is we'll have to take, we'll have to do it multiple times, unless we just get lucky. I mean, there's always the chance that we just get lucky early on and end up taking a naval invasion at low percentage, right? So right now we need 103,000 tons to take this uh, Miami. We have more than that, so we will be able to potentially take it, but it'll be low low likelihood because we have to kill their, their fleet, obviously. And then on top of that, like we don't have a lot over that. We have a total tonnage of 147,000 tons. So our, per, our likelihood that we capture this is slim. But each time that we fail, this number should go down a little bit, right? So each time it will go from, this is 103,000. So the next time, if we fail it the first time, should be less than 103,000. So each time it should get a little bit more likely to happen. And then, like I said, once we get this, like once we start to finally like make this a thing, like it, it'll snowball from there. And then, of course, once we get our, our first new fleets underway, like that obviously is going to help as well because that'll increase our tonnage and make it a little bit more likely. So just keep it going. Should go to war pretty quick or should start to get into fights pretty quickly with the, uh, the U.S. as well. And we have their transports. Ought to resolve that. Sink their transports as quickly as possible. That's going to hurt their ability to wage war. If we look, the United States currently has an army logistics of 10. Uh, we currently have an army logistics of... 38 so our, our army logistics is better as you'd expect but uh yeah we currently have a 74 that's actually higher than i thought oh it's because they moved their fleet out of the way so it's much lower now beautiful well if their fleet comes back over here we'll have to deal with them but for now it looks like we're okay so yeah just keep it going ain't nothing to, ain't nothing but to do it right All I can say is the United States, sooner or, later, sooner or later, the United States will have to attack us with their ships. They, they can't dodge us forever. Right now, we're just killing their transports, which is devastating for them because they got to build up their economy. But everything right now looks pretty solid. Now, one thing we could do is potentially, like, split our fleet to potentially goad these guys into attacking. Like, we could totally do that. But I don't really want to at the moment. I'm going to, though. Let's go ahead and split it. All right, we'll take um, one of the heavy cruisers, one of the light cruisers, one of the destroyers. They will be their own fleet. And that way we can potentially get these guys to start attacking us. Get that war score going up as well. Not that a war score really matters because we're going to be conquering these guys. We're not looking for war prizes. We're taking your, your country. Like that's, that's the goal. What up, Timothy? How's it going? Okay, so this fleet here, I'm going to take these guys over and put them close to the uh, seven heavy cruisers. See if we can't bait these guys into an engagement. But for now, four more months and we have a 75% chance, essentially, of succeeding. What up, Edward? How's it going? All right, let's make sure that we uh, set you to invade as well. That way we're killing as many transports as humanly possible. And our first year has come and gone. But we're very close. 
we take the Gulf Coast, that'll be huge. Then we can start moving up the East Coast and trying to grab some territory there. I think I'll probably go from the Gulf Coast up to Maine. Try to grab Maine, because Maine usually can be captured pretty easily. It's the East Coast cities like Norfolk and, and Philadelphia and them, the East Coast that's the the high high tonnage requirements. All right, we were able to, to goad these guys into an engagement. So they've got several heavy cruisers and light cruisers against our single heavy cruiser, the Madrid, the Matadori, and the Estrella. So in theory, they have the advantage. In reality, it's not even going to be close <laughs> because we have utter, utterly devastating firepower. And they just don't look at the size difference between the ships, first of all. Like, our destroyer is bigger than their heavy cruiser. All right. Uh, pause. I need to put everybody in a division. And I need to turn torpedoes off. Because I do not want to end up taking a torpedo from my own ships. Which is something that will absolutely happen if I'm not careful. All right. Other than that, we're going to turn away. Goes the first kill of the war. Second. was at this moment they knew something was definitely not right <laughs> and they can't even shoot us they probably don't even see us to put it into perspective we're currently five kilometers away from the nearest ship That's the first battle. It's the accuracy, exactly. It's the accuracy and the ability to hit the like hit the target at range. So 75,000 victory points for this one. 5,000 Americans down. Caden coming in with the $10 bomb right out the gate. The Spanish Inquisition Part 2. Exactly. Thank you so much, my dude. Get some goats in the chat for Caden. Appreciate you. When you put centerline torpedo tubes on the rear of a cruiser, does it extend the citadel? Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the torpedoes actually extend the citadel. You wouldn't think it would. Um, because they don't have like a, a barbette that goes down to a magazine. But it's hard to tell. I didn't pay attention to it, to be honest. All right, so first engagement went very well. Uh, I don't like the fact that the Americans are over in my area. Where are you headed? You're headed to the Western Mediterranean. What are you doing, you little turds? That's all right. We got destroyers that are already built. The Ruby and the Tahoe. All right. There's two light cruisers still here. Hopefully we can kill them in the next month. Yo, Wolfie, how's it going? Walker? Spanish Inquisition Part 2. Q 
can you track all the shells as they go through the air? No. No, you can't do that. Continuing to sink their transports. All right. One more month. This is it. Did we capture it first try? Come on, baby. Give it to me. Give it to me. First try, give me the Gulf Coast. We failed. God dang it. I hate that. They moved their freaking fleet back in there and caused us to fight, fail. It's one of the things that I hate about it because they can just do that at any time. All right. Right back to it, though. Right back to it. Naval invasion. Gulf Coast. See, now we only need 44,000 tons to take it. Now, I don't know which port it'll likely be. It's probably going to be Tampa, if I had to guess. But glad you're feeling better, Wolfie. Steer clear of the keys. Ah, we'll take it. We're taking everything. All right. Look, I tell you what, I'll turn I'll turn the ads off for now. How about that? Since it is the first episode. Let's go for it. All right. Anyway, we already did the thing there. We just got to wait. Um should be getting close to the light cruisers coming online. I think they're being commissioned. Yep. So light cruisers should be coming out pretty soon. And they'll be able to hold the Mediterranean so we won't be losing ships over there. Let's keep going. All right. Pensacola, we're, get, we're going to have to invade over there now. It's a shame that we didn't take it first try. I ain't gonna lie. All right. So one month for the other light cruiser to finish its commissioning. And then we've got seven months for the two heavy cruisers and 21 months to get the two battleships. We're getting there. All right. Let's keep it going. Just a minor setback. So does this mean I'm invading my hometown or liberating it? Oh, we are invading 100%. Fun fact, though, is the uh, central U.S. Um, is wh where I'm technically considered according to the, the map. And uh, I can't directly invade that. Like, that has to be done the old-fashioned way, which is capture territory and then let your army do a land invasion. Turn your ads back on, make that money. I mean, I'll, I'll leave the ads off. And just leave it up to you guys to help me out. You know, if you guys enjoy, it's up to you guys. Can you tell me a game that you're enjoying? Yeah, go for it, Torch. Also, enjoy your fishing trip, Michael. I was down in Florida for, uh, let's see, I forget when it was, actually. Opie and I went down to Florida. We went down for um, Cletus McFarland down to the Freedom Factory down in Bradenton. It was gorgeous. Here we go. Another fight. Single heavy cruiser, three light cruisers. Should be no problem whatsoever. Uh, Ghost Knight, no. The game removes those ships. If, you, if, the, if the country completely dissolves. If you... If they're building ships and you take over the port that they were building them in, they will teleport to a different port. 
But if you completely wipe out a country, whoops. Let's get these guys in the fleets. Turn that off. Give us plenty of room. Actually being shot at. Murder him! He dare shoot at us. Didn't work out very well for him, did it? <laughs> the other side of this that you got to think about is not only not only are we way more accurate and capable of hitting targets at ranges that these guys probably can't even really see us at. The other side of it is that we're also able to dictate the engagement because we are capable of doing 33 knots. So we can maintain range and stay outside of their effective ability to do anything to us early on. But again, this all comes down to trying to do this as quickly as possible because the AI will start to adapt like over time. So the sooner that we can, uh, we can take these countries out, the better. Wolfenstein, nice. Yeah, I haven't I haven't watched anything on Wolfenstein in a long time. I know they come out with a couple of modern games, but if you when I think of Wolfenstein, I think of the old school like MS DOS version of Wolfenstein, like back in the day. That's how old I am. We are not going to be building ships for anybody. It's our technology. We cannot let our technology fall into the hands of anybody. All right, so currently six months, we have a 98% chance to succeed here. Beautiful. Next. Very cool game. Nice. All right, let's take our guys that are here and actually put them out into the Mediterranean to protect. See how they like to, to do things where they just, like, weasel their way up in there? Let's move the battleship a little bit closer and see if we can't get them to fight us. Yeah, I played a lot of those old PC games. Wolfenstein, Doom, uh, Duke Nukem. Actually, I did get Duke Nukem 64. It was Duke Nukem Zero Hour on the N64. I, I convinced my sister to get it for me. She had no idea what she was buying. I was young. All right, keep it going. What up, Zen? Scar, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Glad you enjoyed that ranked game. It was pretty crazy. It was the, it was the ultimate cap for the absolute like obnoxiousness that was the ranked battles that we went through. Keep it going. How close are we getting to the rest of the fleet? Uh, four months for the heavy cruisers.
Okay, we're up to 59%. The United States is sitting at 4%. So, yeah, if we can get if we can get to a point where we can actually get a foothold in the US, like we should be able to start actually taking territory. Just got to get that foothold. This is what's driving me crazy. get these guys over here maybe we can give ourselves a chance they they keep this fleet close by and then they just move it in at the wrong time and screw me over so we'll bring our we'll bring our light cruisers and destroyers over to help as well here we go we got them all right and just in time too because this will finish next month so this is the majority of their ships. Got a lot of heavy cruisers, and they're actually going to be fighting the Conquistador in this fight as well. So this should be devastating. Should be beautiful. You guys will get to see the Conquistador for the first time. Build a super torpedo boat with one 1.1 inch gun and 30 torpedoes. <laughs> All right, let's move the destroyers. Let's make it a loose formation. Turn off the torpedoes, please. Here's the Conquistador. So I built the Conquistador as a 16-inch battleship, which is a like a Jean Bart kind of design, where you got two quad guns at the front, and then a whole bunch of six-inch guns down the side. For that DPM and keeping the rip rap at bay. Beautiful. Another beautiful engagement. Now, as we get our crews trained up, our crews, our ships are going to get even more powerful, right? Because right now they're just regular crew. So, hopefully, the next engagement that we get in, they'll be veterans after that fight. But another absolute dominating fight. What up, stacks? Got a lot into plane games. Yeah, I used to play uh, Ace Combat back in the day. Ace Combat 4 Shattered Skies. Used to love that game. Back when I didn't realize that the F-117 Nighthawk was not actually a fighter. <laughs> Using the F-117 Nighthawk to try to be a fighter was a pain in the neck. All right. So ne this should be ours because we just wiped out their only fleet that was close by. The uh, United States currently has 10 ships left in its fleet, a single heavy cruiser and nine light cruisers. Um, so we should have more than enough over here to deal with this. And then we can go ahead and move these guys into the same fleet. 
Turn orange for me, baby. Come on. Should be a 100% chance. There's no way we failed that, right? Just turn orange. As soon as it finishes building new ships. Should turn orange. If it turns orange, we're golden. Come on. You can do it, game. I believe in you. That's orange! Let's go! All right. So this is what they consider the Gulf Coast. So we have taken a huge chunk, including Texas and Florida, obviously. And, you know, New Orleans, a.k.a. Louisiana. All right, let's move up. We're going to go for Maine next. That way we do a pincher maneuver. So we're going to send them up to Maine. We shouldn't be able to do another invasion yet, so we'll wait. But uh, the main thing to remember now is now that we've got a foothold, this whole army logistics thing is going to make a huge difference because they have an army force of just 450,000 people currently. Obviously, when they start conscripting troops, that number is going to go up quite a bit. But their army logistics being so low is going to cripple them. And then us, we're currently at 58%. And hopefully we can get that up to 100% very quickly. We'll see. But we're going to head up to Maine and try to grab Maine first. And then these two are the ones that are going to take the time. All right, next turn. What up, Lucas? Welcome. Glad you got to uh, jump in and catch a stream. Don't forget, if you guys are enjoying so far, punch that like button. If you guys think it would be cool to go back in time and change history, punch that like button. <laughs> what would you do? All right, there, there's a question. If you had the ability to go back in time and change one thing, one thing about your past, what would it be? There's a question for you, chat. All right, we're going for Maine. So how much currently do we have an army? We have 647,000 army. So we t technically have a larger army than the U.S. Technically. All right, these guys should be done. So let's move those guys over here as well. Oh, they're not done commissioning yet. I thought they were done. Okay. Uh, did we already do the naval invasion? Yes, we did. Okay, next. So we're two years in, and we have, got, we have gotten our first territory outside of Spain. You would go back and take better care of yourself? Fair. I think if that if there was one thing that I could go back and change from my past, it would be to go back in time and let myself know that I can just be me and not have to worry about everything. Not spend my entire life like worried about what other people think. That would be the thing that I would change. All right, three months we should have Maine. Beautiful. All right, these guys should be... Okay, they're still commissioning. Good, good Lord. All right, next turn. Other ideas, take a battleship hull, have most of its deck space clear, and slap a bunch of torpedoes and... I mean, the problem with that idea is that torpedoes explode. And you can have the best battleship in the world, but if you cover it in torpedoes and you get hit and those torpedoes detonate, uh, it's devastating. All right, so we've got these guys here. Let's go ahead and separate the fleet again. So we're going to take two destroyers, two light cruisers, and move them into their own fleet. And next turn. 
had a 92% chance to, to succeed with this naval invasion, so it should be ours, and it is. It's just turned. Beautiful. So that's our second territory. Loving it. All right. Now, the next part is going to be the hard part. These two are going to be tough. So they don't, they don't want us. How much tonnage is it going to take? So let's go for the southeastern seaboard. It's going to take 163,000 tons. I think we've got close to that. I don't know if we got enough, but it's close. So I don't know which one it'll be. It's probably going to be like Norfolk or Wilmington. So let's just head down to Wilmington. And then we'll send this fleet down to like this area. My luck, it'll put it at Charleston. We'll have to go down there. But it's fine. All right. Uh, what about these guys? You done yet? Can I move you guys? Yes. Beautiful. All right. We'll send them to Charleston. Next turn. Okay. It is Norfolk. Go figure. Um, Zen, we've restarted. Today is a brand new, a brand new series. The old series with Spain ran into a bunch of issues where the campaign kept deleting all my ships and it, it just turned into a mess. So we restarted with a new premise and that is to take a modern fleet, a, a single modern fleet and the technology and stuff to outfit the Spanish empires like factories and how to make things and all of that back in time to 1890 and try to conquer the world. All right, so let's get everybody up into here. Make sure we're set to invade as well. Okay, invade, invade. Get them up there. All right, and we have initiated a land invasion of the eastern U.S. as well, so hopefully we'll see how this goes. They outnumber us quite a bit, but we'll see. Might still be able to do it. It just depends on how much, uh, how much the army, uh, whatever you call it, army logistics plays a role. So we're at 66%, where they are currently at 3%, because we keep annihilating their transports. So let's see how this goes. Yo, Luke is coming in, becoming the newest member on the channel, even though he's got a 12-month badge, so he's definitely been here longer than than becoming the newest. So thank you, Lucas. Appreciate you. You would have re-enlisted in the army and told... Uh, Oh my God, Luke is coming and dropping a 10 gifted members on the chat too. Thank you so much, my dude. Get some goats in the chat for Lucas and Caden uh, tonight. Thank you guys so much, man. You guys are always so generous. I appreciate you guys. And we are actually making progress. So the army logistics is playing a huge role in this. Despite being outnumbered, uh, we are able to uh, make some advances. So that's good. Very nice. We only have a 40% chance to succeed here, so it's unlikely that we'll succeed on the first try. Only time will tell, though. Continuing to take out their transports. It looks like they do have a fleet popping up here. It's a little bit of annoying. But they're not coming down to the naval invasion at the moment, so that's fine with me. Okay. Uh, how close are our battleships? Seven months. So it'll probably be three or four months after that. So we'll just call it 11 months-ish. So by this time next year, we should have our new battleships as well. Appreciate you, Lucas. 
what up, Dewan? Welcome to the stream, my dude. You're late. Dude, you're always the first one in here, so it's 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 fine. But I appreciate you. Uh, if you want to know what we're doing, highly recommend you go back to the very beginning of the stream and, and listen to the intro. Uh, I do go over everything in the, the beginning. But essentially, the uh, TLDR is that we take... We are a modern Spanish empire that has sent a single fleet back in time as well as the blueprints and stuff to, to outfit factories and stuff to be able to create modern tech back in 1890 to try to take over the world. That is that is the premise of the, the new campaign that we're trying. Still taking out their transports. Still making progress up here. Beautiful. What up, Blueage? Volt, how's it going? Welcome to the stream, everybody. Norska, good to see you. Yeah, at least I don't have to worry about stream snipers when I'm in Ultimate Admiral. Dude, the amount of comments that I've got the last two days, people calling me so toxic and all this stuff, is like, it, it is unfathomable. They don't understand what it's like. They really don't. Like, they don't get it. Like, you're just so toxic. I don't understand why you are the way you are. It's like, why don't you grow a channel and then get stream sniped every time you try to stream your favorite game? Then tell me how toxic you are. I try, man. I try. Like I said, it just gets old. It, it isn't so much like it's just, it's just that it's every time I stream the game. It just gets old. Up to 42%. They have increased the amount of uh, army there, which is not ideal. Uh, yeah, so their army force is currently 605,000. They've got 200,000 devoted to a single battle. Uh, we've got an army force currently of 889,000 and our army logistics is going up. So we're, do we're doing really well here. Let's keep it going. That would be huge. If we can manage to win this in a land war while we're trying to take this, like we could easily turn this whole thing around real quick. Let's go, baby. What up, Sp Spyro? How's it going? Drift King, how's it going? Liam, good to see you. Like PG's starting to realize it too. Like PG's another one that I've been. I, I watch his streams, and he gets he gets a couple of snipers here and there, and he's he's in the same spot I am. He even created a new. Uh, a new screen to hide his sniper no sniping right little door door the explorer reference which is perfect for stream snipers because that's probably what they they recognize the most we're at 50 percent. we're still making progress here which is huge the united states has lost 103,000 troops to us losing 9,000. that's the difference between having an army that is like working well together and an army that isn't that's huge all right, did we get lucky? We only have a 40% chance. Everybody, I need you to hold your tongue to the right side. You know, it's like 40 degree angle. You guys know the deal. 40% chance to take it. Let's go. Come on, RNG. Be with me. Ah, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. We got to do it again. It's all right, though. All right, so we want to do the naval invasion again. But it should be lower this time. So southeastern seaboard. Now it only needs 86,000. So it should be a little bit easier. 
Uh, I'm not sure which one it's going to be, so we're going to go ahead and just move these guys down to like Wilmington and leave this guy on Norfolk for the moment. It'll probably end up Charleston if I had to guess. All right, how close are we? We are currently commissioning one of our battleships, so that's good. Yeah, it's going to be Charleston. Yeah, PG's a great player. What up, Bradley? How's it going? You just unlocked the Iowa? Congrats. Hope you enjoy it. Skull, how's it going? Put Willis Lee on your North Carolina and tried setting it up as a brawler. Did not end well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the problem with running a North Carolina as a brawler is that it's overmatchable. Most, almost every tier six battleship is. Because uh, it only has 25 millimeter bow. So getting close to anything that overmatches you is just a death sentence. So you don't want to do that. Definitely going to be in your best interest to use uh, the North Carolina as a, a an accurate battleship, for sure. All right. Beautiful. All right. So 86,000 tons is all that's needed. We should be able to do that no problem. The, na or the land invasion is going well up here. We're up to 68%, still increasing. So, huge. And now we're almost up to a 1 million army, whereas they currently have 660,000 in their army. And again, their army logistics is awful, whereas ours is continuing to go up. So, all good. Uh, two more months for the commissioning, and then the other one will be coming online soon. So we'll have our two battleships coming up as well, which will be huge. Let's keep it going. What up, Wildo? How's it going? Just unlock the Talin. Nice. I haven't ever... I, I don't know if I've actually played Talin. Ooh, what are we getting here? Some recent mishaps. Okay. Oh, we're invading. Okay, so over here, we're officially invading southern Algeria. Nice. That's nice. It gives us some more some more territory in Africa. Beautiful. Keep that going. I'm not used to my, my government actually trying to capture ungoverned territory. Nice. This looks like we're going to win this. This is huge. Like, this is, a, this is huge if we can pull this land invasion off. But this looks like we're going to win it at the moment. So let's keep that going. Um, yeah. Our battleships are officially built. Uh, how are we doing over here? We still got plenty of plenty of troops. So that'll be good. Now that they're commissioning, we should be able to go ahead and build uh, another one of these. Another two of these. Another two of these. Another two of these. And then we should be able to put them in. I guess we can put them in Valencia. That's fine. All right. So 76% chance to succeed is much better than we had in the last one. So much better odds this time. Plus, by the time this finishes, our two battleships should be over here to pretty much max that chance out. Colorado's pretty decent. Colorado has a really good belt, whereas the North Carolina has an okay belt, but is very susceptible to being citadel through the bow. Colorado doesn't really get citadel very often. Uh, you have to get really unlucky or somebody has to be very good at shooting through the, the bow side plating usually to get a Colorado Citadel. Like Colorado does not give up Citadels easily. Whereas North Carolina and Florida definitely do. Florida more so, just because, I mean, it's Florida. It's the North Carolina without the belt armor. All right, let's send over the San Luis or the San, San Luis, I should say. I don't know why I made it sound French. All right. How we doing? 
86 percent dude we are gonna cape we are actually gonna capture the eastern usa with a land invasion from maine that is huge that is huge that saves us so much time because these are the hardest ones of the u.s to grab once we get over here this won't be anything like we can grab this no problem and then of course Af or alaska shouldn't be a problem either there's like three different provinces here. You got the Eastern Aleutians, you got Southern and the Northern Alaska, which are three different provinces. The biggest one is whether or not our government will initiate a land invasion on Central USA. That's going to be the, the kicker because we can't directly influence that. Now, if we take all of their ports, then we would end up destroy. Like we would we would end up uh, like they this would just dissolve. Right. It would become ungoverned territory, which we don't want. We want to initiate a land invasion and capture that before, because we want that. A lot of oil there. All right. And uh, let's just keep it going. All right, one more month and we should we should have the eastern US. How's this one looking? Oh yeah, we're we're going to crush them. Shocker. Okay. Well, that's beautiful. Uh how many more months for this one? Two more months and then that battleship can join the site as well. B E A beautiful. Set them to invade. Next. Dude, that is huge. The fact that we were able to invade the eastern U.S. by land is such a huge advantage for us because that, that takes away that, that like, seven-month waiting period for that territory. That's huge. Freaking huge. And we only got three months left for that. One more month for that. Beautiful. Then we got to swing around and go to the other side of the, the U.S. Things are going really, really well. What up, Ghost Knight? <laughs> You're calling hacks. Darn right. Can you support or can you promote a smaller content creator in your chat? Like who? Also, Tucker, how's it going? Uh, I'll check and see what our uh, allies are, but we're not building any ships for anybody currently because we don't want anybody else to have our tech all right we got a hundred percent chance very nice uh the battleship should be able to come over as well send you over All right, we have a 100% chance to succeed here as long as they don't move a fleet in there at the last second. But we got a battleship coming over as well. So this should be ours now. And then we'll have to go all the way down around South America to get over here and start trying to capture the Western U.S. Churrozilla. Okay. See, we failed. I knew they were going to do that. They always do. They somehow managed to fail with like a 90 some odd percent chance to. Oh, wait, no, it didn't end yet. I was like, it's not over yet. That explains it. Okay, so next month. We have a 100 percent chance to take this. So it's ours. Uh, we should still be building some new ships, so that's good. That'll be the entire east coast of the U.S. is ours. Beautiful. Let's move these guys over to the west coast. Send you to San Diego. It's going to take a couple of months to get there because we got to go all the way around South America. They do have a couple of ships over there. 
their fleet is currently let's look 10 ships they have a uh, they have no no new ships yet so we're still golden there we're up to a 91% uh, army logistics rating very nice next what up sea bass how's it going We've already got we've already got Texas. Texas was part of the uh, Gulf Coast. Uh, yeah, Panama Technic. Oh, that's right. We got to take that as well. That's fine. We should be essentially right next to Panama. We'll be on the backside of Panama. Uh, we, the canal doesn't exist yet, which is why we have to go all the way around. It doesn't open up until 1914 in the game. Um, but we can at least capture their territory. What up, Clint? How's it going? But good call. I completely forgot about Panama. Alright, so our current allies looks like it's going to be Romania and Denmark. But again, we're not going to be selling any of our ships to either of these countries. They want to be our minor ally because they realize that we're just going to dominate. Then that's fine. Okay, so this is... Did all of our fleets end up in the exact same fleet? Is that, that wasn't what I was going for, but it is fine. All right, let's set, set you guys to go right over here. We're going to go right up to Panama. And then we should be able to uh, grab that this next turn. Or start that naval invasion soon. I, they'll probably end up, my luck, they'll be like here, but we'll see. Next! Have a good night, Skull Fracture. Appreciate you dropping in, my dude. All right, we are officially at Panama, so let's go ahead and invade. That should only take like three months. And then I'll probably split the fleet because I won't need all of this tonnage to take Panama. So I'll probably split the fleet and have have one fleet start working on trying to uh, take the west coast. So yeah, we only need 7,000 tons to take this. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and split the fleet. Send one of you guys up here towards this. It'll be two of you. Trying to keep the originals together. The original fleet will stay together. The rest of the new fleet can be its own thing. All right. Go ahead and move. Yo! Oh, my God. Clint! Clint coming in, dropping a $50 bomb on the chat with 50 gifted memberships. Thank you so much, man. You guys are crazy. Got to get some goats in the chat tonight. Y'all been crazy. Thank you so much, Clint. Absolute goat. Uh, technically, Hawaii is not part of the U.S. yet. Alaska is in this game, but Hawaii is not. So I can't take I take I can't take Hawaii, unfortunately. All right, so we should still have a, yeah, we have a 100% chance to take that. We're going to go ahead and start a naval invasion of the western U.S. up here. So one of these three ports will be the uh, battleground. We'll see how that goes. And then Panama should be ours. Uh, 
Uh, we didn't finish conquering the entire world, Seabass, but we did get a lot of the world, that's for sure. Alright, so we've officially got Panama. Let's move these guys up here. Take this fleet as well. All right, so we need 149,000 tons, so we're going to have both of our fleets in there. Keep it going. So far, the war with the U.S. has gone really, really well. We've been able to capture all of the eastern coast of the U.S., and we're about to start working on the western coast of the U.S., What's happened since the start of the stream? We went to war with America as quickly as possible, and we have navally invaded the U.S. and grabbed the entire eastern half of the U.S. and uh, Panama. That's, that's basically what's happened so far. Uh, if you don't know, the premise of this is that we have taken a fleet from essentially modern times or slightly into the future and taken it back in time to 1890 to try to conquer the world. That is, that is the goal. And we managed to grab the southern Algeria as well. So we, we did manage to grab this territory over here. That's huge. That'll come in handy later. But we've got a 72% chance to succeed here. It's not the best chance in the world, but it's better than nothing. Oh my god! Guys! <laughs> Bridger Wilkes coming in, dropping a $100 bomb out of nowhere. Good Lord. You guys are crazy. What the hell, man? Thank you so much and welcome to the stream. Good Lord. You guys are nuts. Yeah, so essentially when you're, when you're doing a naval invasion, you're essentially dropping troops from shore and you're, you're like bombarding from the ships and stuff. That's essentially what the naval invasion is. Good lord, man. You guys are crazy. We gotta get all the goats. There you go. You guys got it. You guys are getting all the goats in the chat. Thank you guys so much, man. Absolutely crazy tonight. I don't know what's gotten into you guys, but man, you guys are trying to break me you just noticed that Dyson has propellers <laughs> well every ship has propellers it's usually how that works if they didn't have propellers it'd be a little bit uh, odd don't you think all right so we actually have the destroyers ready to go how many months? 70... Uh... We'll see. Might be able to get some more tonnage over here. What up, love life? How's it going? Uh, you can't make 25-inch guns, unfortunately. The most you can get is 20.9-inch uh, guns. Dude, I don't know what to say. Y'all, y'all are crazy today. I don't. I, I can't thank you guys enough. Like I said, when I do streams and stuff, like you guys end up being so generous all the time. It's crazy. Thank you guys so much. Cause it does help. Every every little every little dono, every little gifted membership, all adds up, man. You guys don't even know. Like you guys end up just bailing me out so much it's ridiculous thank you guys so much <sighs> um good lord you guys broke me man <laughs> i forget what we were doing thank you so much bridger i'm glad you enjoy man
Yeah, the biggest the biggest guns that you can get are the quad 20.9 inch guns. One more month for the uh, light cruisers to finish. I might send them over. I'll send the two destroyers and light cruisers over and see if we can't get them to uh, get here in time. I doubt that they make it in time. I'm pretty sure it'll take longer than, than three months. But you never know. But notice we haven't managed to get a uh, like land invasion started here either, which is unfortunate. We do have 100% army logistics, and we're up to an army force of 2.2 million now. Oh, we are going to be dominating. It's going to be ridiculous. Yeah, the largest torps you can get is 24 inches. And... All right, three months to get there. I'm sure, wait, it's uh, Val yeah, Valencia. So I'm sure they're not gonna be able to make it there in three months, right? Like there's no way. It says they can, that's crazy. I, I find it hard to believe that these guys are gonna go from all the way over here, all the way down around the bottom and all the way up here in three months, but it says they can. And that might just be what we need to tip it over into our favor even further. I would love to get this first try. All right, Blue, appreciate you dropping in, my dude. Have a good night. How far did they make it? Are they on? Oh, they're right there. Okay. Guys. Clint! <laughs> Good lord, man! What has gotten into you guys tonight? God dang, man! Holy crap! At this point, there ain't enough goats in the chat. Lord have mercy. Another $100 bomb. What is that like? That's like... I don't know. That's a lot of money, man. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Thank you guys so much, man. Golly. Dude, if every stream was like this, I'd... I'd I'd be a lot happier. <laughs> Could you imagine? Lord have mercy. You guys are crazy. Clint, Caden, Bridger, all y'all tonight. Lucas, you guys are insane, man. Thank you guys so much. Hey, good Lord. Uh, yeah, King Swag, welcome to the stream. Uh, for the TLDR, since you guys are just joining us, uh, basically... Basically, um, the, the premise is that sometime in the not-so-distant future, the Spanish uh, sent a... They discovered how to manipulate time, and they sent a fleet back in time with not only the fleet... Just because. Thanks for the content. Thank you so much, Clint. Uh, but not just the fleet itself, but the technology to refit their factories and uh, be able to build modern tech in ancient, well, ancient times, 1890, essentially. 
So we are essentially a modern or slightly futuristic nation back in time to uh, conquer as much of the world as possible, as quickly as possible. That's our goal. So our first, our first uh, milestone was to, to avenge our loss to the U.S. and take over the U.S. as quickly as possible. So that's what we're working on now. We've already grabbed all of the East Coast. We've grabbed Panama. And hopefully, if, if all goes well, we'll be able to grab the Western U.S. here. And we grabbed it. That's huge. Dude, we are getting absolutely god tier RNG so far. Now, if we can get a land invasion started here, that would be huge as well. All right. So now the only ports that the U.S. has left is up here in Alaska. So we need to go up and start grabbing the eastern Aleutians and southern Alaska. Can't naval invade them yet. We got to move up to the to the area before we can do that. All right, let's keep it going. Struggled massively in your King George V. Is there any hope to continue grinding? It just takes time, man. The King George is definitely feeling like a step back from the uh, dominance that was the Queen Elizabeth. It just takes a little bit of time. But if you can figure out how to use the King George the best, uh, then that prepares you really well for the uh, Vanguard. Because the Vanguard and the King George are very similar in play style. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a struggle to learn for sure. All right, so we're going to go ahead and naval invade the southern Alaska. And then once that starts, then we will uh, naval invade the eastern Aleutians as well. And we have initiated a freaking invasion of central U.S. That's huge. That is so big. I didn't want this to become ungoverned territory. So that's huge. So we will wait to take this up here until after we've conquered this. Any ideas for Russian DD lines? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about how do you play them? Uh, if, if I had to recommend anybody for like showing you the Russian DDs, highly recommend Zarkoon. Zarkoon is very, very good in those, those destroyers. So highly recommend it. Keep on a trucking. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen it yet, I do have a Path to the Vanguard series. I know that you were talking about your, your King George. I have a Path to the Vanguard series that I kind of go over the play style and how, how to kind of utilize them. Because, uh, like I said, King George and Vanguard are very similar and they're, they're kind of squishy. Uh, they, you have to, you have to change back and forth between HE and AP, depending on what you're shooting at and whether or not they're giving you broadsides. Um, but it does not like to be up close and personal. It tends to be mid to long range most of the time, which limits its usefulness a lot. In my opinion, you really got to rely on teammates to do the right thing by like taking objectives and stuff like that, which we all know how that turns out. All right, so this will take three months. Beauty fella. 
And we are absolutely going to crush them here. That should not be a question. They're at 6% on army logistics versus our 100%. So, B-E-A, beautiful. We got plenty there, so we're not worried about that. Uh, Vanguard or Hawk? I prefer the battle cruisers. I, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I will take the, the battle cruisers of the British over top of their main line any day of the week. Not even a question. Like I said, the main line on the British battleships, like, once you hit tier 5, it feels like a step back. Because you're not... You're not going to be as dominant ever again. Like the King George, the the KGV, the KGV and the uh, Vanguard are never going to be as dominant as the Queen Elizabeth and the Warspite were at Tier 5. It's just not going to happen. Um, but the Battlecruisers, on the other hand, are nasty. They are fun. I enjoy them. They're squishy. But if you can get around the squishiness, like, they are fantastic. I love the Battlecruisers. All right. Back to what we were doing. Naval invasion. Next turn. What up, Anthony Franklin? Welcome to the stream. How good is the Renown's HE? I don't use the HE out of the battle cruisers. I don't. I shoot AP almost every single time. I, I see a lot of people out there using the HE and stuff, but I don't use it. You don't need it. The AP is that good, and with the dispersion that you get because it's battlecruiser dispersion, Lord have mercy, man. The AP is devastating. Go ahead and invade the Eastern Aleutians. We should have Southern Alaska next month. And then we will move that fleet over to... Uh, I guess we potentially go for Japan next would be the... Let's see who's closest. Who, who are we most likely to go to war with next? Uh, looks like the French and the British. We're gonna not, we're gonna hold off on that for a little while because they've got a lot of different areas that they can attack from. So probably the Japanese. I think we need to start poking the Japanese here. Start getting ready to go to war with the J Japanese. So, Southern Alaska should be ours now. Yeah, Monarch is awesome. What up, Noriko? Welcome. Jacobs, welcome back. And again, on, on Monarch, I almost never shoot HE. I shoot AP 90% of the time. Maybe 99% of the time. Johan was a massive disappointment. Yeah, I, I I tried to tell everybody. There are certain people that were like, eh, it's cracked. And I'm like, no, it's not at all. It needs it needs a hybrid commander to, to get the most out of that ship. If they, if they come out with a hybrid commander, the Johan will suddenly be much better. All right, let's move these guys. Uh, let's get these... Headed over here to Wakanai. Okay. This should be a 100% chance to succeed as well. How close are we here? This is going to take a couple of months, so we got to hold out. We don't want to take this, because if we take this before this wraps up, then they end up uh, dissolving, and then this ends. So we got to wait. Once, once we take this, I'll be very, very happy. Then we'll go up here and we'll take northern Alaska. But things are going very well so far. I'm, I'm very happy with our progress so far. We're just coming up on through the five-year mark of the campaign, and we've already captured almost the entirety of the U.S. So, it's going well. All right. Uh, the two heavy cruisers are going. The battleship is 11 months out. Keep going.
All right, so from a politics standpoint, uh, we're going to continue to increase tension with the Japan, uh, Japanese. Um, we've done all that. We're at 34% there. Yeah, so now we are committing more, more troops than they can. And we have the advantage in terms of our army logistics. So we are stronger and capable of throwing more tr troops at the fight than they are. Which is huge. So, beautiful. Things are going very, very well. And we should have the Eastern Aleutians this turn. Alright, Tucker. Appreciate you dropping in, my dude. Have a great night. Also, Dragon King. How's it going? Uh, you have all Tier 7s in the American. And you feel like starting over. I mean... Choose choose something that you you want, man. I don't know what your uh, preferred class is or anything like that, but I'd say if you've already got all the Americans, then uh, I don't know. Just go to the next one. Go to the Japanese. Do the whole Japanese line. Just go back to back. America, Japan, Britain, Germany, France, Italy. All right, so we have gathered, or we have taken all of the United States' territory, uh, except for the... Oh, no! Oh, wait, no, it's fine. It's fine. If they do that, that's fine. Because that should take longer. This should take longer than this, because this has already started, right? Yeah. So this should complete before they take this. I didn't even think about that. Um, but yeah. So, well, that saves us from having to do that. I guess we don't need to worry about taking northern Alaska, because we will take it by land. <laughs> And we could send these guys over to uh, the Pacific to get in position to be ready over here. All right. So, uh, Japanese, we're still waiting. We already poked them. We're going to get them really, really disliking us really quickly. From a fleet standpoint, the battle or the heavy cruisers are done, so we can actually go over there and grab them real quick and get them heading over our way. So, Valencia, grab them. Uh, I believe this one was the light cruiser, so we'll send them to there. Take two months to get there. We're officially going this way now. Very nice. All right. Uh, can we poke them? Cannot. All right. Next turn. How good are the Japanese battleships? Um, they are troll, but they are solid. They are very fast, especially at lower tiers. You're not going to be used to how fast the battleships are at low tiers because they're battle cruisers for the most part. Um, but yeah, they, they troll you, but they tend to be more accurate at range than they are up close. So keep that in mind. They also get absolutely decimated if they go broadside. So be careful there. But if you learn to utilize their firepower to the full potential by doing the dreadnought shuffle, uh, you'll love them. It just, like I said, they will troll you. Just be ready for it. <laughs> like when you need them most, they will almost always let you down <laughs> when it comes to hitting the target it's like when when you need that shot to absolutely must hit that's the one that it's just going to spread out completely and completely make you like miserable let's make sure that everybody is an invade i don't know how everybody got switched back to being in c control we get everybody invading and then, like I said, back over here to the U.S., we should be getting close over here. We're at 52%, and this is at 8%. So, yeah, this should finish well ahead of this, which is beautiful. Keep it going.
Nagato is the only one you get along with. Uh, I mean, it's it's the most like a uh, conventional battleship. I think I think most people. Most battleship players don't have too much trouble with the Japanese line, other than the fact that they're inconsistent. Okay, so we are absolutely going to crush them there, and we are going to crush them here. Beautiful. And we're at minus 45% here on the relations with the Japanese. Uh, Mutsu is actually surprisingly good. I, I think most people that have a problem with Mutsu is just the fact that they expect it to be ridiculously amazing all the time. But if you think about it, at Tier 5, it's got 16-inch guns. You don't need 16-inch guns to overmatch at Tier 5, but it doesn't hurt. The biggest problem that everybody has with Mutsu is that they try to get the torpedoes off at close range, and that almost always ends with you getting dev struck because the Mutsu does not like to go broadside. If you go broadside to get those torps away at a battleship captain that knows what he's doing and holds the shot, you will be dev struck. Just remember that. In a press conference, journalists ask you if the present good financial status is good enough. I mean, we are ready to fight anybody who opposes us. Like, there's nobody that's going to give us a fight. Especially once we finish conquering the U.S., All right. Um, politics. Increase tension further. Next. You're too biased to the American DDs. Barely play any other line. Yeah. I can see that. What up, David? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. What are the Russian battleships? Um, the Russian battleships are pretty solid. They have limited damage controls, though, so keep that in mind. Um, but they also don't like to get caught broadside because they will be sent back to port guaranteed. I wish the Japanese would stop ignoring us. They're only delaying the, the inevitable. We are going to go to war with you, Japan. Just... Throwing that out there. Like, you're going to war with us. You just might as well get upset with us now. The United States did build some more ships. Actually, it still says they only got 10. They're building 13, but I don't think they'll finish them in time. We're at minus 66 now. Nice. Mutsu has lack of armor. It's not that it lacks armor. It's that it's got an exposed citadel once once you open that angle. Like it, it, It's not that it lacks armor. If you angle it properly, it's fine. But if you open that angle up to get those torpedoes off, because the torpedoes have a uh, torpedo launch angle that's not favorable. Um, the, the launch angle on the torps is best used at medium range, like right on the edge of your torp range, um, which I think is 7 kilometers. And that keeps you relatively well angled, but still able to torp. All right, so this will be done within a couple of months here, which is nice. Increase tension with Japan some more. We're at minus 75%, so about to go to war with Japan. What up, Eclipse? Welcome to the stream. Should you sell the Johan to buy? I never recommend anybody sell ships. I, I, I seriously don't recommend anybody ever sell ships. Uh, even if you don't like a ship, you don't know what could happen in the future. You could end up with a, a commander that makes that ship completely busted, and then you might fall in love with it. Um, I don't recommend selling ships because you always lose money on it. Always. So, highly recommend you don't do that.
Okay, next month, the central U.S. should be ours. And then this should follow relatively shortly thereafter because then we'll be able to commit more troops to this fight and then just run over them. We're at minus 86, so we're about to go to war with uh, Japan as well. So that'll be nice. Just trying to maximize our efficiency, man. Just trying to go from one war straight into the next and start going and grabbing as much territory as qu as quickly as possible. That is our whole whole shtick. Okay, we got the central U.S. Beautiful. That's huge. And now we have this that's going on. And like I said, we should just run them over at this point. Because now we're committing even more troops to this fight. Yeah. They have an army force of just 1,100. The United States has been reduced to an army force of just 1,300 people. Their home state population is 34,000. <laughs> Poor guys. Uh, rip. Rip the U.S. Won't be long now. That'll be ours. All right. Increased tension. We should be at war with the, uh, J the Japanese next month. This has been a very, very efficient start to the stream. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, how's our fleet going? Two more months and the new battleship will be done, and then we can start the next fleet as well. Next turn. What do you think the next campaign ship is? I mean, they're teasing the uh, the French, or not French, the Italian light cruiser, the something like that, the Verrucchio or something like that. Uh, going to war. Shocker. All right, so yeah, this should wrap up relatively quickly. Let's see if the politics shifted. Yeah, so right now, because they have a common enemy, the United States is trying to ally with these guys at the moment. So hopefully that doesn't happen before I finish taking this territory. It very well could, but I don't think it'll help them. Uh, especially with us in position to already start taking Japanese territory. They're going to have their hands full. So we are going to immediately start a naval invasion of northern Hokkaido. which will be invading Wakanai. Japan should fall very quickly. Like we should have no trouble. We're going to be able to take multiple territories at one time, hopefully. Because we already have this fleet here to grab North Hokkaido. We're going to have this fleet here to get ready to grab South Hokkaido. So this should go pretty quickly. All right, let's keep it going. And they have battleships, so this will be interesting. We have heavy cruisers and light cruisers being attacked by battleships. Uh, not ideal, but also not scary because... Firepower-wise, I still think that we outmatched them. Especially when you throw torpedoes at them as well. But we got to make sure that our guys are going to be put in the right situation first. Here we go. You also got to consider their battleships only have 10-inch guns. Just as a thought. So even if they do land a hit, which I don't think they're going to, um, it's not going to be completely devastating like you would think it would be. All right. Let's turn torpedoes off. Put the light cruisers over here with us. Make sure that that is a loose formation. Take the destroyers. Turn those torps off until I want them. The battleships are right here. And speed up time. 
set up our own little line. Let's go ahead and drop torps. Torps in the water. Torps off. Retreat, please. You did your job. Now, I want you guys to go ahead and drop your torps. Did everybody drop? I think everybody did, so let's turn the torps off. And we're going to turn away, because we know that there are torps coming from the other side, but we're already landing torpedo hits into that absolute mess of ships. And these are 24-inch torpedoes, so they are going to be devastating. Everybody's back in line. Go ahead and launch the torps from the other side, please. Torps away. Beautiful. Turn them off. should be getting there any moment. Okay, they've detected them. We got a dud torpedo, that's unfortunate. Didn't manage to land any of the torps there. Not an ideal scenario. Beautiful. Trying to take down the little little ships first. And then we can just set everything on fire if we have to. Though I'm not 100% convinced that these battleships will be able to take like actual armor piercing from our 8-inch guns. around we do almost have torpedoes again and we are getting some floods so that's good news for us Down goes one of the battleships. Look at the speed difference from us. I mean, we have completely just run a circle around these guys. We should have torpedoes ready to go. Tor 
corks in the water. Should give us a pretty decent chance of hitting something. Torpedo hits. Beautiful. So our first chance to see what we're capable of doing against battleships. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty deadly. This guy won't be too long for this world. There we got another big hit. More flooding, and that should do it. Beautiful. Beautiful! So, 7,900 Japanese sailors sent to the bottom. Five battleships, two heavy cruisers, six light cruisers gone. 110,000 victory points. That is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. That's the whole point, Ghost Knight. That's the whole point, man. I wanted to do something different. I thought this would be an interesting, interesting like uh, experiment to see how things go if you take like a fleet back in time and you have, like, full tech at your disposal in the campaign it took a lot to do it but we we're I, i'm pretty happy so far with how it's going it should be a relatively short series so it should be you know one that's fun to watch there'll be a lot of action any any engagements that we get into should be pretty exciting like i said the goal is to try to get this done as quickly as possible because if the enemy catches up to us in tech like it's just it's gonna get to be a problem but I'm hoping we can stop that. So these guys are currently sitting at 79% chance. So let's go ahead and move you back up here. And then next month, we should be able to start the naval invasion of South Hokkaido as well. Uh, the battleships almost done. So, <clears throat> next. <laughs> what up, Tuxedo? All right, uh, Japan, naval invasion, South Hokkaido. We are at 81% here, so we got a couple more months to finish the uh, war with the United States. Uh, the United States is still not allied with Japan yet, so hopefully we can finish that invasion before, before they do. And then that'll be the end of the U.S., Uh, wait, where's our battleship? Our battleship should be in Valencia. Let's move the Aragante over here. Get it in its fleet with these heavy cruisers. It'll take two months to get there. Beautiful. Um, politics, did we already start it? Yes, we did. Okay. Beautiful. B E A U D I F U L. All right. Next turn. Uh, are we building another set of ships? We are not currently. Okay. How we look in crew pool? We're doing okay. Let's go back in and build uh, two more heavy cruisers. Two more light cruisers. Two more destroyers. And one more Betel ship. And then we can put them all in the same place. 
and we will actually set these guys to be, since we're going to be over here for a while, probably put them in the uh, Philippines if we can. And we can. Let's put them in Manila. Beautiful. Because we're going to be over here for a while. Because we got to take Japan. we got to take China. we got to take Russia. I mean, we're we're going to be going ham, folks. Ham. Whole hog up in here. All right. Next turn. What up, Midnight? Welcome to the stream. Kiefer as well. Appreciate you dropping in. Don't forget, if you guys are enjoying, make sure you punch that like button for me. It helps the channel out quite a bit. Let's uh, YouTube know that this is a fun idea that, uh, you know, more people should see. Almost built a ship for another country. That would have been disastrous. Can't let our technology fall into the hands of some other country. Okay, this will take six months. This will take three more months. Beautiful. Uh, what is the Japanese Navy consisting of? Just three heavy cruisers and a light cruiser. So that last battle, we literally took out their entire Navy. That's huge. So yeah, they're not going to be able to put up a fight, which we love to see. All right, next turn. What would be more beneficial to grab China or Russia? Probably China initially, um, but Russia also has a lot of people. I mean, both both countries have a ridiculous amount of people in them. So, I just thought this would be a fun premise and would be an interesting, like a quick idea that we could we could get through a campaign really quickly. It'd be fun. All right, so next month, Northern Alaska should fall to us. So that'll be huge. And that'll be the end of the U.S. as we know it. Uh, meanwhile, over here, we have uh, two more months for North Hokkaido. What up, Shadow? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. And Northern Alaska has been conquered. And the United States has dissolved, losing all of because it's lost all of its ports. So that was beautiful. All right, Japan. Now you face the full might of the Spanish Armada. The conquistadors of time have judged you unworthy. Next. All right, North Hokkaido should be ours. And then we will move down to uh, Honshu. Okay. I want you to invade North Honshu. And you can invade South Honshu. So let's see if we can actually do this. Beautiful. Make it so, number one. Like I said, Japan should not take very long at all because it's just basically their mainland. So all we have to do is just get a foothold and it's over pretty much. This should be, uh, I thought that would be relatively straightforward. Might need to bring a little bit more or something over there. Because I want to get it done in one, one month or in one setting. Still 100%, so we're good there. All right, let's move this fleet over here to help. Uh, 
let's give it a little bit more room. All right, they'll get there. That'll be 100%. And then this fleet can come down here and grab South Honshu. Next. I like that we initiated a land invasion despite the fact that we're already navally invading it. So this is going to change change hands anyway. What up, more? How's it going? Glad you enjoy. It's uh, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, my dude. And it is a PC game, yes. You can get it on Steam if you're interested. Okay, that one's done. Let's move them to the south to grab South Honshu. Should be able to straight up South Honshu. And then we can grab uh, Shokaku. Kyushu. And the Okinawa Islands. And that'll be Japan gone. This is going really, really well. Like, we have not had any setbacks or anything. This is, this is perfect so far. Next. What up, Thor? Welcome. It's a fun game, man. I enjoy this game. And like I said, I'm I'm doing things to the game that it's not meant to do. And, you know, just try to have a little bit of fun. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the game's a lot of fun. I, I enjoy it. Uh, they are constantly updating it nowadays, so they're trying to get rid of a lot of the small bugs and stuff that people have. Um, so, yeah, I highly, I highly recommend people check it out. It's the only game that really out there that allows you to uh, design and build your own warships and then take them into battle and fight things, you know? All right, this is actually a little bit lacking, surprisingly. Weird. But uh, we should finish this one pretty quickly. Three months. And then maybe we can slip a fleet over here to help these guys for like the last month to make sure that we guarantee get that. Let's see. Next turn. The ge Japanese geography is uh, dangerous because of all the mountains. Yeah. Okay, two more months there. Check out the politics situation. Who hates us other than everybody? Everybody. French and the British are actually getting close to declaring war on us, but we're not going to be we're not going to be fighting them anytime yet. We're going to save them for later. Uh, we will be focusing on trying to get China and Russia soon. All right. Next turn. I know one thing. I'm sore, fellas. I have been busting my butt in the gym. I am sore. Oh, look. Oil. Isn't that nice? Okay. Next month, we get this, and then we will send one of these fleets over here to assist with this to guarantee that we get that. And then we will go ahead and grab uh, Kyushu. Okay, this fleet... Both of these are the same tonnage, so it doesn't matter who I send over here. One of these guys needs to come over here. Actually, let's just go ahead and play it safe and send both of them over here because I don't want any holdups. Send both fleets over here. That should guarantee that this is taken. And then we will go for Shokaku, Kyushu, and Okinawa pretty quickly afterwards. Next! Next! 
All right, we have a fight. Uh, the Aragante is going to be getting its first action, and it's got a couple of heavy cruisers and torpedo boats. So it should be a relatively straightforward, easy battle. Please don't eat our croissant. Uh, would the Spanish Civil War take place in this game? Um, I don't think so, but technically you can have um, like a revolution if your unrest gets too high and it and your government changes. Yo, Ninja, coming in re-upping for 15 months. Thank you so much, my dude. Get some goats in the chat for Ninja. Take, take a look at Aragante here. Is guns and anger at us. Let's go real time for a minute. We're so used to doing everything times five speed that we forget what it actually looks like if you go into real time. six-inch guns on the secondaries. Look at them all. I guess the battle's over. <laughs> Another 3,000 sailors sent to the bottom. Uh, the main guns are 16-inch, and I want to say they're... They're 16 inch Mark 5s. I don't know what caliber they would be though. I'll have to look. And I do love love games with history. You're not wrong. I do. All right, let's get back over here and check out what's going on. Should have a 100% chance. Beautiful. That'll wrap up next month. And we're officially making money, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Because we wrapped up uh, grabbing all of the U.S. And now we're, we're taking over Japan. We're, back. we're officially making money. So no more, no more losing money for us. What up, Zarkoon? Yeah, basically we've, we've created essentially a futuristic Spanish Jean Bart. Only better in every way. And... Uh, we have gone back in time, Zarkoon. Uh, I have I have created a way to take a slightly futuristic uh, fleet back in time with all of their techs to 1890 to try to conquer the world. That is the goal. All right, these last few, we should be able to 
just use one fleet each to grab. So we go to Japan, naval invasion, Shikaku. Next. Did I ever watch the new Dune movies? I have not. Okay, we have a 100% chance there. I got to wait one turn before I can initiate another naval invasion on one of these. Definitely worth a watch. Nice. I don't think I've watched any Dune movies, to be perfectly honest. I could be wrong. Maybe I have. I, I can't remember, man. I'll be real honest. Like, I don't watch... I, I watch a lot of movies, but I don't watch a lot of movies at the same time. Like, I, I watch a lot of, like, of the same movies over and over again. Does that make sense? Like, I don't venture out and watch new stuff very often. I think that's probably the best way to put it. All right, so Kyushu, that'll be this province here. This should be ours next month. Should watch the new ones, not the 1980 ones. Okay. Is it on, is it on like Amazon? Is it on, um, Netflix? Like what's the streaming service that it's on? If it's on a streaming service. Also, what up, Kiefer? All right, that's another one done. Uh, let's move this guy over to help assist with this. And we should be able to, okay, maybe not. Maybe next month we can start grabbing Okinawa. This has been a very smooth, smooth start to the, the takeover of the world. I ain't gonna lie. The fact that we were able to get the U.S. so easily is crazy. But that was the goal. Like, I needed to get rid of these guys as quickly as possible. So they were my first target. So I immediately go to war with them, grab all of it as quickly as possible. <clears throat> And then from there, everything snowballs. Because now we have the full might of the United States and the full might of Japan and the full full might of, of Spain to, to take on the rest of the world. So we're, we're doing really, really well. <laughs> we just got to keep it going. All right, next turn. Now we should be able to initiate a naval invasion of Okinawa. And then couple of torpedo boats apparently think that they can take us on that's cute <laughs> this is the original fleet too the cars uh the conquistador barcelona the madrid el matador and el toro yeah i agree zerky there's very few newer movies that i watch like it just it's i don't know it gets kind of crazy All right, um, we're actually just going to turn all of your guns off and have you guys retreat. Turn your torpedoes off and just let you do your thing. I swear I turned their guns off. Did I not turn the fucking guns off? Game, stop fucking with me. See, they launch torpedoes. That's what I need to avoid. Because that one time, all it takes is one of these idiots to drop torpedoes and completely fucking neuter my ship, and we will lose a war real quick. Because one of these ships dies. If any of our ships die, 
I, the, the war score will be almost insurmount, insurmountable. Like, I don't think, like, if we lose a single ship, I don't think we can win that war unless we just take their, their country. That was a very quick kill of torpedo boats from the Conquistador. But yeah, we have to be very, very careful because one of these idiots drops a set of torpedoes and sinks one of our own ships. I don't think we can overcome that war score difference. That's, that's the trade-off. Like, one mistake is all it takes. All right. Let's look at the Japanese Navy and see what they've got. So they have one torpedo boat left. <laughs> That's it. Their entire navy has been reduced to a single torpedo boat. All right, let's get the invasion of Okinawa started. This should be done in four months. That'll be Kyushu done. Uh, so it is officially time to start looking at uh, initiating a war with somebody else. Uh, who's closest to going to war with us? It's going to be China or, or Russia, the, the two that I'm looking for. And neither of them are wanting to go to war with us. Shocker. I mean, we could, we could try to go to war with either Britain or France, but those are going to take a while because they got so many provinces to take. I would much rather go to war with one of these other guys. All right, let's, let's look at it from a, a Navy standpoint here. Obviously we've got the French are pretty much everywhere. The British are pretty much everywhere. Like I said, the biggest issue with taking on the French and the British is just taking their freaking ports, man. They got so many god dang ports everywhere. The entire world is littered with their ports. It takes forever. So I, I do want to just try to like start whittling at... Uh, I guess China will be... I, we can't do it because we just initiated a naval invasion, but it's fine. <clears throat> Soup bowl, welcome. What up, Johnny? Okay, this will take three months. Beautiful. We're not at 100% here. Where did these light cruisers go? They must have just built these. They didn't even have these, like, last turn. Yeah. They just built them. All right, well, you know the deal. Go murder them. They're not allowed to have ships. Go murder. Also, that flag. <laughs> that flag looks weird. Must be a different different type of flag than the normal Japanese rising sun flag. I don't recognize it. Anyway, next. Oh, wait. We need to initiate our plan to start increasing tension with China. China. Next. This is what we can do is we can put a fleet in each each of their seas. So the Southeast Asia, the East Asia, and Yellow Sea. And that will trigger like multiple declines in each month. In relations anyway. I hate how everybody just ignores me. Stop ignoring me! It's too real. Okay. That finishes in two months. This finishes next month. 
Uh, we can go ahead and start increasing tension with the Russians as well. Doesn't hurt. What up, George? Good evening. Appreciate you dropping in. Hope you had a good night. Okay, Okinawa is ours. Let's go ahead and put this fleet down here near Hong Kong. I lied. Move this fleet immediately up here. I want a 100% chance to take this. They just moved their cruisers back in there again. Little turds. And Japan should be gone. Yeah, why would they ignore me? I don't understand why they ignore me. You would think out of all the threats in the world, that would be the one you take the most, like, you heed the most, you know? Because there's, you know, something backing it up. And we've gotten it. Beautiful. Japan is no more. All right. Let's park these guys in the Yellow Sea. Let's park these guys off the coast of Hong Kong. And then we'll park these guys over here off the coast of Shanghai. With three fleets in their three seas, this should deteriorate the relationship between us and China pretty quickly. Next. Yeah, look. So they actually didn't ignore us this time. So there's minus 11. And on top of that, Japan is gone. And we should be starting to deteriorate completely with uh, our fleets that are in the area. Should make sure they're all on invade. They keep getting changed. Stay on invade, you little turds. Okay. Beautiful. This one might actually start to upset the Germans as well because they've got uh, Wei Hawei here. Or no, not Wei Hawei. Couch Bay. Always get it backwards. All right. Well, uh, there's not much I can do other than just poking the Chinese and the Russians. Where are you at, Russia? Next. It's going to take some time to get into a war with these guys, but we'll get there. Yep, the U.S. is already gone, Noriko. We have completely captured the U.S. and Japan. So now it's just a waiting game until we can go to war with these guys. Next. At a press conference, you were asked about recent evidence that a foreign espionage targets our Navy. Uh, this... It was the Italians. It was always the Italians. But yeah, so for those of you just tuning in, 
this is a new new series that we started where we have taken essentially the Spanish Navy from essentially like modern time and they discovered temporal like how they, they discovered time travel essentially and we sent the single fleet back in time with not only the fleet itself but also the blueprints and and stuff to completely change Spain's ability in the past to be able to produce modern fleets in 1890 so that's where we're at so that's why we're we're progressing so quickly all right politics china uh can't poke them russia let's continue to poke them i mean it would probably be quicker to go to war with uh france but again it would take so long because you got to get every one of these little islands and it's just like it's it's a whole thing okay the heavy cruisers are coming online so we got 10 more months until the battleship gets finished and that'll be another fleet for us i, I want to have as many fleets as possible by the time we get to the british and the french because then we can invade multiple multiple things at one time you know that's kind of where i'm going with that all right Next. How the frick can I time travel? Well, I, I edited the game save to make it be a thing. Uh, during a state dinner in Chinese Empire, there was a heated discussion between our ambassador and members of Chinese Empire's government. The Prime Minister asks how we could best handle this embarrassing situation. I think that our ambassador was trying to defend our country's rights. Starting to get the Chinese to warm up to the idea of going to war with us. It's taking a while. We will have another fleet coming in down here in the West Philippines soon. Because that battleship is nine months out. I think we already clicked the button, right? Yep, yeah, we're good. Next! So far, Dragon, the stream has gone really well. We, we're, we're progressing much faster than I expected. And things have gone very smoothly. So we're, we're doing really well. All right, so it should be the Russians' turn to get poked. Next turn. Yeah, unfortunately, all we can do here is just try to, like, get them to get upset with us. Several of our country's shipbuilding industries are constructing warships for third parties. Um, I am categorically against this practice that could strengthen our future rivals. All right, so now Chinese, just continue to put the, put the foot down. You will go to war with us, China. I promise it's coming. You just got to accept it. I don't care how long you continue to try to ignore us. You can't ignore us forever. I'm very loud. One of the things we could do would be to send one of these up here towards uh, the Russian Far East. Just kind of like irritate the, the Russians. But again, I don't want to fight both of them at the same time. I just want to fight one at a time. I think we already clicked the button, so. Next. 
how do you win this game? Uh, there's a couple ways. You, you conquer everybody. Um, or you survive until the game ends in 1965 or 1970. I can't remember which one. Uh, and then it tallies all the score up and everything. Gives you a score at the end. Beautiful. Yes, embrace the hate, China. Embrace the hate. Come for me. Just just let it happen. You could surrender. I mean, that, that would be a thing. You, you could just surrender to us if you wanted. Otherwise, well, you'll see soon enough. Next! Dude, the funny thing is they're not even like deteriorating because of our, our fleets being in their neighborhood. Like, you would think that us pulling up our fleets right next to their, their docks, <laughs> essentially, at all their like major ports, that they would be like, you know what? I don't like this. You should stop this. But even then, they're not they're not really upset with us. It's weird. Next. Almost the turn of the century. Quit ignoring me, China! Dang it. Turns out trying to get these guys to go to war with us is harder than I thought. Sooner or later, you will succumb. Oh, the British are ready to go to war. It's earlier than I want to. Hmm. Screw it! We're going to war! The Brits want to go to war? We'll give them war. Immediately move south. I want you to go to Borneo. Invade. You head over towards uh, here. Prepare to invade. And then you get ready to invade Malaya. The British want to fight. We'll give them one. They will not. They will not live through this. Fine. Fine, Britain. You wanted this. Come and get it. I will absolutely decimate your entire empire and gladly welcome you into ours.
All right. It's time. Where's Britain hiding? Naval invasion. Borneo. Get it done. What does the British Navy look like? They have 26 ships. You are vastly, vastly underestimating what you're needing to be able to do. Sorry. It's just not even close. Next. If you are just starting this, I would recommend going with one of the major nations like uh, U.S. or or Great Britain, um, France, Germany. Those are the ones that are the easiest to get started on. I love that the British got into a war with the Germans and then immediately declared war on us anyway. It's like, what a dumb idea. It's a good way to lose all your territory. All right, can we go ahead and start another invasion here, Great Britain? Nope, we got to wait till next turn. Okay, so we will go for, what is this one called? Uh, Papua, yeah, the territory of Papua. So we'll grab that next. And then we'll go for Malaya. I'm glad you enjoy, Kiefer. But yeah, U.S. is probably the easiest one to, to learn how to play on because you get essentially a unlimited money early on, even on legendary difficulty. And you just grow so fast. Okay, that'll take, or that'll finish next month. Let's go ahead and grab... This territory of Papua, that'll go pretty quickly as well. And then we'll go from Papua down into grabbing Australia. And then this fleet should start to grab Malaya. They're going to lose all of their territory very quickly, hopefully. Do they have any allies? I have not paid attention. They do, they're close to being allied with France, which could be a problem. But uh, currently, not an issue. Next. Um, we're just going to pay the French off and tell them to shove it. For now. I don't want to fight Britain and France at the same time. So France is just going to get a whole lot of money. Because I'm going to keep paying them until I'm done with the British. All right, let's move you around to make sure you're inside the naval invasion, please. Um, can't start this until next turn. This one has finished, so we will move you down. Hmm. See, if they're going to Malaya. Oh, wait, Singapore's separate, isn't it? Yeah, let's go go to Singapore. Uh, then you can head up to like Malacca. Because it's going to be one of these two ports. Actually, as a matter of fact, that'll probably... You know what? Let's just sit tight. Because we're going to have to take Singapore first. I forgot about that. Singapore is its own little little thing, and then Malaya is its own thing. All right. Okay, so wait. Next month, we should be able to do that. Uh, this should go pretty easily. Have a good night, Spyro. Appreciate you, my dude.
All right, we should be able to invade Singapore. I thought that would need more tonnage. So we actually might be able to go ahead and just send these guys up here to get ready to invade up here. That showed very little tonnage needed. And those torpedo boats aren't going to stop us, so that's not going to be a problem. This is going to take three months, so we're good there. But yeah, Noriko, it took me about six to eight hours of editing my game save to be able to get to a point where I could make this campaign a possibility. It took a long time to set this up. All right, do we have our new battleship and stuff? I think we do. So let's send them down to Darwin. Oh, it's not commissioned yet. Thought it was done. One more month. All right. It's time to go ahead and start building the next fleet. Build one battleship. Build two destroyers. Build two light cruisers. Build two heavy cruisers. Set them all to go to... Barcelona, please. So we need to start reinforcing the Mediterranean. Okay. So, again, this should be no problem. Uh, we're in position. Can we go ahead and start? We cannot. we got to wait. Okay. Next turn. How did I do it? I would I would explain it, but I can't explain it. I, it is it is way too much. Um, but basically, I had to go into the game save, edit everything, uh, one month at a time. So I would I would give myself the texts that we're currently researching. I would forward one month, give myself the texts that we're currently researching. Forward a month, give my texts the that are researching, so on and so forth. That was the only way I could figure out how to do it. And then once I got to the point where I had the text that I wanted, then I had to go in and copy all of the texts that were there, which ended up being about 126 pages worth of text. <laughs> and then copy that into a new game save. So, yeah. It was a whole, whole thing. Okay, if that finishes next month, we should now be able to take um, <clears throat> Malaya. This finishes next month as well. Then we will start working on Australia. And then work our way through India. I'm trying to figure out where where is Brunei. I know it's here somewhere. I think that's this is Burma, Bangladesh. Oh, right there. Okay, we got to grab that too. All right, well, uh, I think we've done everything we can do at the moment. Next turn. I thought it was over here. It's just that one little port that's all by itself. Okay, you are going to head to Darwin to try to grab Northern Australia. You
are going to move over here to get ready to start grabbing that. This fleet should officially be done, right? Beautiful. So let's pull you out. You will head over here and uh, you will head to Brisbane. Let's make sure you're set to uh, invade as well. Because I want to knock their ability to uh, have army logistics completely down. Dude, how do they have such a big army? They have 3.5 million people in their army. I guess maybe they're boosted by uh, the British Raj over here. It's all right, though. We're not scared. We're not scared. Next! Wait, did I, did I already do the thing? Yeah. Okay. Next! Uh, it's not that I have to do that. Um, it's that my previous campaign kept having the ships get deleted and stuff, and I wanted to do something different, and I came up with the idea because, you know, the final countdown is a thing. If you've ever watched that movie, The Final Countdown, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I, I came up with the idea, and I thought it was fun, so I was like, yeah, let's just try it, you know, just try it. And who do, who would make the most sense to have that happen? Like, the Spanish going back and, like, discovering time travel and going back in time to right the wrongs that they, you know, with after the defeat against the Americans just made the most sense. So it just seemed like a fun, fun idea. All right, so that'll take one more month. Um, let's go ahead and initiate naval invasion. Yes. That'll be Northern Australia. Then we got to get Brunei. Actually, these guys are going in to grab Brunei that way, which is fine with me, because that saves me from having to do it with them. So then we can send these guys over here towards Perth, get ready to grab Western Australia. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, next month we'll have Malaya. Yeah, I just thought it'd be fun. It's just a fun idea. It'd be a quick campaign. It shouldn't take forever. Like we we've been doing like the campaigns that take seven months to do and all that, but this is just something different. Be fun, you know. Just completely different. All right, this is done. Let's send this fleet up here to Rangoon. Rangoon. Okay. Then this will finish on its own relatively quickly. This is 100%. Beautiful. Can we go ahead and initiate the next naval invasion? Nope. we got to wait a month. And we'll grab Eastern Australia next. My luck, they'll end up making us go down to the bottom port because I'm at, I'm at this port already at Brisbane. So they'll probably put me down here. Yeah, we already beat Japan. Like, Japan wasn't going to put up much of a fight for us. We already knew that. We beat the U.S., we beat Japan. So now we just got to win this war against Britain. Take all of their territory. Okay, let's get into uh, naval invasion. Eastern Australia, bliss. Like I said, my luck, it'll end up putting the thing down here at Melbourne. Also got to remember that freaking, uh, that's New Caledonia. New Zealand's out here somewhere. Maybe it's on this side. Yeah. We got to remember to grab New Zealand as well. Plus they have a few little spots here in the Pacific we got to grab. Fiji. 
Cook Islands. This is what I'm saying. All these little freaking ports they got everywhere is ridiculous. Them and the French, man. It's the worst. All right. Everybody should be in position to do their thing. Uh, we've already initiated this. We just got to figure out where it's going to be. Yeah, nothing is going to stand against this the Spanish Armada. You're not wrong. We will crush all before us. And we're destroying all their transports, too. So we are completely wrecking their economy and their army's ability to uh, to wage war. Okay, this one's done. So send it down to... Uh, uh, let's actually get it ready. Send it... I'm going to actually send them over to Africa, to be honest. Start invading the African territories soon. Uh, these guys, I did, I did anticipate that, so need to put them down here. That'll be fine. Naval invasion, I gotta wait one month before I can start the next one. But this is why I wanted so many, so many fleets, because it takes so long to, like, do all these freaking island hoppings and stuff for the British and the French. I wanted as many fleets as possible so that we can just in initiate naval invasions across the world all at the same time. As quickly as possible. The only down th the only thing stopping us from doing it quicker is the fact that I gotta wait a month in between each naval invasion that I start. What up, Ladon? Welcome. Minnesota or Maine? Depends on your play style. Um, Maine is more accurate, but not as tanky. Minnesota or sorry. I got that backwards. Minnesota has more guns. Not quite as accurate as Maine. Maine is more accurate and is tankier. Minnesota, not quite as tanky. All right. So we're actually initiating uh, land invasion there, which is unfortunate. Because we're 99% chance. Why is, that, why is that only 99%? Whatever. Okay. Uh, let's, can we start a naval invasion of Western Australia? Thank you. Get that done. That'll be Australia wrapped up. And then we can get Tasmania. Uh, then we will start our invasion out here. The British fleet is starting to show up. And I, I say that lightly because, let's be honest, it's a couple of ships here and there. That's actually a fleet. And then we got to initiate an invasion of South Africa as well. I might just let them... T I probably should let them take Southwest Africa. Looks like they're going to win that fight against the Germans. Because then that would take more territory. That'd be more territory we could take off of them without having to invade Germany yet. All right. Well, let's just wait. We're right outside the friggin... God dang it. Okay. Well, that shouldn't take too long. This is 89% now. Why is it so low? Do they have a friggin' ship in here? No. No, they don't. They're just being annoying. Fair? 
Okay, we will send another fleet down there then. Um, see, that's one fleet, two fleet. Let's pull this fleet away for the moment. Send them over here. It's the beauty of having range and speed is I can just move these guys around, no problem. Let's get that over there, get that done. The British have the ability to have so many troops that don't make any sense. 4.1 million! It's ridiculous. And they have an army logistics of 67%, despite me just, like, neutering their, their transports. It's all right, though. Still not going to be a problem. Politics. We can't do the naval invasion yet. We will start the invasion of Burma next. Uh, am I going to be designing any new ships? Uh, not currently. Um, I don't know. We, we could potentially do something, but it, there really isn't a need for it yet. Now, if, if this drags on and we end up getting to a point where, you know, our ships are starting to struggle to take things down, then maybe maybe that'd be different. But currently, there's nothing that's going to stand against us, so designing new ships doesn't really make any sense. Okay, so now we should be able to go ahead and start our invasion of Burma. They'll be there next turn, which is perfect. Then this will fall. Then I got to jump from there over to here. And then we got to grab this as well. So this finishes next month. That is guaranteed to be done. Do we have... Okay, we can't do a naval invasion yet anyway. So that's fine. This is 100% chance. Beautiful. Get that done. I'm losing a lot of troops in this for no reason. I don't know why they initiated that one of all things. Silly. Silly game. Okay, next turn. This should be ours now. Which ends that, so we won't lose any more troops. Thank you. Okay, one of you head over here, please. Help wrap that up. The other one head to Hobart. Invade Tasmania. And then this will wrap up next month as well. I love how their army logistics still going through the roof, despite the fact that we have just neutered their transports everywhere. How much longer am I going to stream? I don't know. I'm just going to keep streaming until I don't feel like streaming anymore. Beautiful. All right, so this is now at 78%. So let's take this fleet down here, make sure that we get this. This fleet is going to go north.
This fleet's finished here. Head up there, please. All right. Next turn. This is now 100%. That finishes next month. Should be able to start a naval invasion of Ceylon. Not sure which port it'll be. My luck, it'll be Colombo. We'll just wait until it happens. And then we will invade Bangladesh next. Oh, I was actually right. Perfect. It actually ended up being in the... Trincomalee. All right, we actually have a fleet battle now. It is the original invading fleet of the Conquistador, Barcelona, Madrid, El Toro, Matador, Cazadora, and Estrella versus basically everything that the, uh, the British government could throw at us. Uh, the Temeraire, the Enterprise, the Palace. Let's do it. Let's do it. It is currently 12.12 in the morning for me. It's 12.12 just after midnight. Already got the first kill. It's a pretty sizable fleet we're up against. be for long. We do have a veteran crew on all of our ships now too. That just makes us even more effective. We're 
actually in a position I could probably use some torpedoes. Oh, I lied. As soon as I do that, look what they did. Look at these idiots. This is why I don't use torpedoes right here. As soon as I get thinking about using torpedoes, those guys freak the hell out and do it like full U-turn and would have annihilated each other. Would have been awful. Secondary starting to target the torpedo boats. Let's fire AP at this battleship. Let's watch what happens to the Timberer. Boom! I'm actually overpinned it. Didn't overpin that time. <laughs> and he got a flash fire. Nice. What up, Dart? Welcome to the stream. We didn't lose a single sailor. Absolutely dominant. Almost like we're from the future. Okay, so Tasmania is ours. Let's take one of you guys, start heading back up this direction. The other fleet that's over here can start going over and grabbing all of the British islands and crap that's in the Pacific, so... Send you I guess we'll start with Fiji. All right, can we go ahead and start the next naval invasion? No, we cannot. We gotta wait. But it'll be Bangladesh next. What up, Lucas? Have a good night, my dude. Appreciate you dropping in, man. Glad you enjoy. Good. We managed to take Brunei. We've actually initiated a land invasion from Burma into Bangladesh. So maybe we actually don't need to invade Bangladesh. We'll just go ahead and start with Eastern India then. Eastern India. This finishes next month. Put 
these guys over here as well. How's the British looking? They're, they're down to 30% army logistics. So we are slowly starting to deteriorate their army logistics, which is what we want. And uh, they still have a ridiculously sized army. But as we start to take some of the India territory, that should drop dramatically, I would imagine. We'll see how this goes, though. Next turn. So far, everything's been going pretty well. I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy with how this has gone. Okay, Salon is us. Let's get them moving up towards Western India. This will take six months. And we are making progress here, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. I don't think we can do another naval invasion. Actually, we can. Let's go ahead and grab Fiji. Because we are already over there. Okay. That's everybody's already moving, doing their thing. Next turn. That's going fine. This is also going fine. Can't do a naval invasion yet. Uh, Jeff, I restarted the uh the campaign so the previous spanish campaign ultimately just got beat by bugs essentially i i couldn't keep a fleet because every time it seemed like i started a stream my fleets were just gone they just disappeared so we decided to restart it with a new a new theme this one is the spanish navy essentially in the future uh discovers time travel sends a fleet to the past with all of the blueprints and technology and stuff to be able to replicate their modern technology in the past. And t their goal is to take over the world. So that's what we're doing. Let's grab the Maldives. I forgot about them. Forgot about the Maldives. Make that a thing. Again, we should be able to easily take this. No problem. Then this is three months. And then if we look over here at Fiji. This should wrap up next month. And then we will move over from there. We're going to grab the uh, New Zealand next. Okay, 
Okay, so that'll be three months. This will be two months. Let's get this fleet from Fiji down here to get ready to invade. Not sure which port it'll end up being, so we'll just send them down there. Next month I should be able to start a naval invasion of New Zealand. Watch, it'll put it up at Auckland. Still perfect. Uh, should be able to start the naval invasion of New Zealand. Next month. All right, the Maldives are ours. Go ahead and head up here. How's this one going? It's going perfect, beautiful. Move over here, get ready to go into Bombay. Send you up here. Send you into the Trucial States. See if we can't grab that. We will likely need two fleets to grab Pakistan, so. Double check, make sure this is going well. Yes, it is. Beautiful. So that'll be done in three months, two months. All right. So our next naval invasion will be Western India. How close are we to the next fleet? 12 more months for the battleship to finish. And that's in Barcelona. All right, naval invasion, Western India. So far, so good. Don't forget the dirty or the dinky island of Port Blair. Uh, where's that? Okay, New Zealand's ours. So let's take this off of New Zealand, head towards all these little tiny friggin' islands out here in the Pacific, man. Let's grab Rarotonga next. That's the Cook Islands. Almost done taking over Bangladesh. Very nice. And the good news about the British, <clears throat> most of their territory that we have, it can be navally invaded, so we can we can get into the pretty much all their ter their territory. Uh, obviously, there's a few that have to be land invaded, but hopefully the government does what they're supposed to do. We'll see. But, so far, so good. Okay, next. We're going to go ahead and invade the Trucial States.
in the Bay of Bengal. Oh, yes, Port Blair right there. I see it. Good call. Good call. All right, so naval invasion, trucial states. One more month and Western India should fall. Have a good night, Dragon King. Appreciate you dropping in. All right, we will send you guys up here to Karachi so that we can grab Pakistan. And then our guys over here, we go to Naval Invasion. We want to go ahead and start that fleet on grabbing uh, the Cook Islands. Hawaii was found to... Oh, yes. I can grab Hawaii. <laughs> well, that's a fine little thing. Go ahead and do that then. Hawaii. Go pay Hawaii a visit. All right. Well, in that case, um, we can go ahead and start our naval invasion of Pakistan. Please and thank you. Wait, actually, I didn't realize they were invading Pakistan. That's all right. We'll get it done. Should be pretty quick. And this, I think, finishes the next turn. It does. And then we'll have to invade Bahrain. Also, welcome to the stream, Frost. I don't know if I said hello. I know I read your comment, but I don't think I ever said hello. Ooh, we got a fight. A uh, decent fight. There's one battleship and a bunch of cruisers and destroyers against us. Should be no problem. No problem for us. these secondaries when they fire. It has a lot of guns.
that's the fight. Yeah, Frost, I'm glad you enjoy, man. It'll be interesting to see if anybody else ends up picking up on this idea. Uh, I did tell uh, Stealth about it. I told uh, Brother Monroe about it. Like, I, I planned on doing this. It'll be interesting to see if either of those guys attempt to do something similar. It's a lot of work to set up, but... It is fun. It's just something completely different. We've been playing this game for, what, five years now? So anything that's different is going to be fun. Bangladesh was conquered. Beautiful. Cru the Trucial States are done. Lovely. Let's get this guy over to Bahrain. Get him ready to invade over there. We're only at 46% here? Huh? That's got to be an oopsie. That was because we were just in a fight, right? So hasn't updated yet. It's probably what it is. These guys are actually invading from eastern India into the northeast uh, frontier. Interesting. Um, how goes this conquest? 100%. Beautiful. That'll get done in two months. All right, well, let's just uh, forward unto Don. I'm glad to see our government being more proactive when it comes to starting these land battles. All right, so we want to go ahead and invade Bahrain. Shit! I keep clicking the wrong thing. Choose Bahrain. Thank you. Okay, so... Yeah, this is only 43... Oh, there's a freaking fleet here. Little turds. Yeah, we're invading from Bangladesh into northern India. We're invading from eastern India into the northeast frontier. It's lovely. We're also, and we're still invading Pakistan. That's fine. All right, well, um, shouldn't be much else to think about. Next, Hawaii should be ours now. Okay, that won't take too long. This is still only showing 59%. I don't like it. How long do we have before that kicks off? We get three months to get a fleet over there. Is this fleet done yet? Surely. I need some reinforcements over here, please. I mean, the battleship's not done yet, but the cruisers are, so that'll help at least a little bit. Um, our fleet that was at Pearl Harbor can go ahead and come down. And we might as well grab Napari while we're here. That is the Eastern Gilbert and Ellis Islands. That'll be the next one we go ahead and invade. Also got to remember about Belize and uh, Guatemala. Okay. How close are we on that new battleship? Four months, and then we'll start the next batch. What up, Yair? Welcome to the stream, my dude. Long time no see. Hope you're doing well.
Still at a 68% chance. We don't need that much tonnage here. Let's split this fleet for the moment since the cruisers seem to be having trouble moving for whatever reason. Lord have mercy. I the, the amount of like text that's right here is not allowing me to grab the fleet. There we go. So if we move a couple of these guys over here, we'll grab one of the battleships, one of the heavy cruisers, one of the light cruisers, one of the destroyers. Send them over there. That should give us enough to hopefully push us over the threshold and guarantee us get to Pakistan. That's going well. That's going well. Uh, do we have the ability to navally invade? We do. So we want to go for the Gilbert and Ellis Islands. Okay, next turn. Please, Pakistan, turn orange. What up, Michelle? Uh, Michelle? Sorry about that. Didn't mean to uh, say your name wrong. Okay, Bahrain is ours. Beautiful. We did fail Pakistan. Oh, wait, wait, is it not done yet? I thought we failed it. Oh, we got one more month. We're up to 74%. Okay, well, in that case, let's bring this over here and remerge with that fleet. We'll put all three of our fleets there to make sure we get Pakistan. Again, this should be going well. It is. It is. Okay. This is perfect. Three months. Then we'll move from there down to Rarotonga. A lot of paying attention to all the little places, man. That's like I said, this is the downside of going up against Britain and France. This is just you gotta take every little tiny island. Okay, should be good though. Next, see how it goes. Turn orange for me, Pakistan. You know you want to. Hey, we got it. Beautiful. Ooh, a big fight. Four battleships, a heavy cruiser, a light cruiser, a couple of torpedo boats thrown in there. These are actually decently sized guns, too, so we got to keep that in mind. There's two different classes of battleships here. Two, two Aaron classes and two uh, Lion class battleships, but Aragante should have no trouble. The Mos the Motoscafo Armato. Alright. Let's put everybody in a division. Turn torpedoes off for the love of God. Speed up time. Let the party begin!
Ooh. That looked like it hurt. That's the first kill. I was gonna say, the, the riffraff ain't gonna have much chance. The battleships, they at least got the puncher's chance, right? another one. Well, these guns are devastating when they hit these armor targets. It is just death. And there was one, but not for long. Beautiful. What up, Keeman? You're from the Philippines? Well, welcome and appreciate you dropping in. That'd be... actually have a friend who's from the Philippines. She, I think, lives in Canada technically now, but uh, she always she always goes back. Philippines are a beautiful place, man. Really are. Like, absolutely stunning. All right, so that's that. We did take Pakistan. We are engaging there, so now we can split these guys up. Send one over here to the British Somaliland. And then we will send one of these guys back over here before I forget to Port Blair. Naval invasion. Let's go ahead and do the um, Cook Islands. I screwed that up. It's all right, though. Next month, they'll finish this, and then they can just jump down there. It's no big deal. Just want to keep it going. Then we got to grab all these little islands down here, too. Okay, well, let's keep it going. Okay, how are these going? 63%, 34%, so these are still progressing. Very nice. We finished this, so we can move this down here.
Okay. British Somaliland will be the next one, or do we go for the... Uh... Oh, we got a fight. Okay. It is the Aragante again versus a couple of their Palos class heavy or battle cruisers and a Aran class battleship. Bunch of destroyers and light cruisers. Oh, it's the Iowa class! The Iowa class represents the culmination of U.S. battleship construction. Six ships were ordered in 1939 as a response to Japan's non-compliance with the International Naval Treaties. Four ships were completed, the Iowa, the New Jersey, the Missouri, and the Wisconsin, under the Second London Naval Treaty, which accepted an increased displacement of 45,700 tons. During World War II, they were refitted to exceed 58,000 tons. Armed with three triple 16-inch guns, powerful AA guns, and a top speed of 35 knots, they were unmatched by most warships of their time. I think that's the first time I've ever seen the Iowa class pop up in a pop-up for the game. All these years. Alright. Speed it up. Woo! They're actually getting close to hitting us for once. I don't like it. the circle of death. We took a hit! That's our first hit ever. Well, that'll teach him. <laughs> How dare he hit my ship with a shell? We will not stand for this. We didn't lose anybody either. Despite taking a direct hit from a battlecruiser, we took zero casualties. And then immediately annihilated him with torpedoes. All right, so let's go politics, naval invasion. We want to go for, um, what is that place called? The Adaman or Andaman Islands. And 
make it happen. This wraps up in four months. Then we got to try to take the Somaliland and the British in East Africa. Oh god, the French have taken so much territory of the uh, British. Because we've been absolutely crushing the British's ability to wage war. It's alright though. 71%, 41%, we're getting there. Unfortunately, it looks like Kashmir is uh, uprising. Okay. Next turn. Uh, any tip on how to obtain your desired commander in World of Warships Legends? Uh, there's a couple of ways you can do it. One is that you just work to get your commander crate every week. Uh, I believe that they still give out a free commander crate for completing the, the like weekly challenges and stuff. Um, the next thing that you want to think about doing is if you have the, f the commander XP, you can actually go into the store, into the commander section, and then use your commander's XP that you've earned to buy specific commanders that you're missing, if, that, if that's something you need to do. Like if you want a specific battleship commander or something like that, or a cruiser commander... Uh, you can actually go in and purchase them using your commander XP that you've earned in game. And that's in the store under the commander section. Yeah, no problem, come in. All right, Volt, appreciate you, my dude. Have a good night. I don't know how much longer I'll be streaming. I've been streaming for four hours. We've done a pretty good start to the the campaign. Um, we've made a lot of progress, so I'm pretty happy with this episode. We probably are going to be calling it pretty soon, though. Because it's four hours. I'm starting to get hungry. And I still got to make a video for tomorrow for you guys. On World of Warships. So actually, come to think of it. It's probably a good place to go ahead and wrap it up. Since we are at four hours. All right. Can't do anything there. We've got a 100% chance to succeed there. Let's just go ahead and wrap up uh, 1901, and we will call it call it a night. You have a good night, Tuxedo. 
Also, Matthew, how's it going? Appreciate you dropping in. But we'll just finish out the, the year of 1901 and then we'll call it. Right. Naval invasion of the British Somaliland. How are we looking over here? This should be wrapping up next month. And then that can move over to Adamstown. Okay, this is finished. Move down to Durban. What up, Gabe? Uh, just getting ready to wrap up, actually. All right. Politics, naval invasion, uh, British East Africa. That'll be that. Then these guys should be ready to go to Adamstown. All right. I think we're going to go ahead and end it here, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's a different kind of concept for a stream, but we are able to progress through this much quicker because of the way this is. Uh, and we, we've had a, a pretty awesome start so far. But uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you guys again for all of your generosity. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Have a good night, everybody.